Fox Center cover bringing you the story that has an elected official from Georgetown in the hot seat. That official, Christopher Rich, says a convicted felon who he hired stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from him. But that man, Joe LaFrada, says that's not the whole story. LaFrada's phone was tapped as part of an organized crime investigation, and state police investigators picked up conversations between him and Chris Rich talking about illegal activity. When those transcripts came out, a judge threw out LaFrada's conviction. Joe LaFrada joining me now to talk more about this case. Joe, thanks for being here. You're not exactly squeaky clean. You've got a long criminal record, been in and out of prison. Why did you agree to talk to us about this? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, the guy's running for assessor, the elections today in Georgetown. And I just wanted people to know what kind of guy he is. Secondly, people should understand that things like this happen. You know, this guy lied. So maybe if you ever get called to jury duty or if you hear a case of something like this, you know, understand people lie. The guy lied. The whole thing is a lie. It never should have been tried in this case. And I just wanted people to understand that. Those transcripts of those conversations, those tap phone calls, didn't come out until after your conviction. Do you think prosecutors intentionally kept those transcripts hidden? I'd have to say I do. I mean, the evidence speaks for itself. In July of 2006, I filed a discovery motion specifically asking for state police investigative materials referencing me or Christopher Rich. They never gave them to me, which means they don't exist. So when I got evidence that they existed, I filed the same motion and received the evidence in 2010, which ultimately led to my release. The DA's office up in Essex County tells us, well, that was a case being handled by state police in Middlesex County and that they didn't know about them. Once they knew about them, they handed them over. You don't buy it? I understand that that's what they're saying. But why, when I filed my motion, someone can't pick up a phone, a phone and call the state police and ask them? I mean, I did six years because someone didn't make, want to make a phone call. So it doesn't make sense doesn't to you, make doesn't make sense up. to me at all. We're hearing a lot of different things from a lot of different people. Chris Rich himself, he is on the planning board up in Georgetown running for assessor, as you mentioned. And in our conversations with him, he's saying, that's not me on the recordings. Well, what do you make of that? That's the oldest excuse in the book, isn't it? I mean, every guy that's been arrested or charged with anything says it's not me. He's on tape. I mean, it's his voice, it's him. And even state police investigators clearly Absolutely. writing about him in their documentation yes, saying Absolutely. it is him. So you think that's just more denials on his part? Just, you know, par for the course, more lies. You've been upfront about a lot of things with us, but you haven't really told us what happened to that money. You say you didn't steal it, you shouldn't have been convicted, but we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Where did that money go? Uh, well, Mike, unfortunately, you're going to have to buy the book to have that part. You are writing a book. Tell us a little yes. bit about what you're hoping to get out there to the public. Uh, it's a really good story. There's a lot of, you know, funny parts. There's a lot of sad parts, but it's a really good story. A lot of important people involved, and uh, I think people enjoy it. One of the things that came out in our conversations with the district attorney's office is the fact that this case isn't closed for them. They're looking at the possibility of recharging people or charging people. Could Chris Rich up in Georgetown be charged? Could you be recharged? Are you worried you could face criminal charges connected to this case? Well, absolutely. I mean, I'd be a fool to say I'm not concerned. If a DA even mentioned your name, you should be concerned. But I don't believe they could charge me in this case at all. I mean, the whole case is Chris Rich's testimony, the whole case. Eastern and Bank didn't believe that I stole the money. They testified on my behalf. Bottom line, Christopher Rich is up there in Georgetown. He's sitting on the planning board, and he's running for another elected position. What do you think the voters should know about this guy? He's a lizard. He should crawl on his belly. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thanks, Joe LaFrada. And, Thank of course, you. you can catch our entire investigation, which runs through all those transcripts. Watch them and read them yourself. Go to our website, myfoxboston.com.